Hey Leo, Mariah here. It's a pleasure to be back and to be reading for you. I had to come on. I know I've been sick, but my cat needs some cat food and some kitty litter, so gotta get my butt back on camera. Anyway, I hope you guys have been doing good. And since we are moving into mid-October, I wanna see what's going on and what's happening and bye. And I wanna see what we need to know. So Leo, let's go ahead and hop into this. All right, Leo, so let's go ahead and let's get into this. Let's see what it is that you need to know, especially with us being mid-October, going into the end of October, into November. I can't believe the year went by that quick. Like, dang, where did the time go, honestly? Anyway, let's hop into it. So what is it, spirit guides, angels, ancestors for my Leos? What is it that they need to know, especially with us moving through the rest of October, hopping over into November? Ooh, okay nice so we have we have peaceful resolution and we also have yes this is nice you know what's interesting about this because on the bottom of this deck it's no it's no so maybe leo there's been a situation in our life that we've been dealing with where Either we've had a door close on us, the door wouldn't open for us. Maybe we felt like a situation was not going to get resolved. Maybe we didn't know if a situation was going to get resolved. And we may have had signs showing us that, hey, it may not be resolved the way that we think that it should be or that we think that it will be, but it's still going to be resolved in a different kind of way. It's the, it's the old adage of expect the unexpected. I think what's getting ready to happen here, there's getting ready to be a mending of a bridge, Leo, in your life. I want to know specifically, though, what is this about? What is getting ready to have a peaceful resolution for you? What, okay, thank you. Judgment in the reverse. Eight of Cups. Queen, ooh. The Calvary is coming. The Calvary is coming. That's from here. And the Judgment in the reverse. Eight of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. I'm not going to deny this is not going to be for everybody. Let me just get that. You know how I got to. I don't mean to segregate y'all, but let's just keep a spade a spade. This ain't going to be for everybody. This is for my Leos who's been dealing with some financial hardships or it's been financially tight um, where you've been in a rock between a what's the, how, how does the saying go uh, in between a rock and a hard space. That's what this feels like where you've tried to open up doors for yourself to make a new way for yourself financially or trying to make ends meet or trying to figure out how you're going to sustain and manage, especially during these economic times. And it may have felt like either we weren't getting the call back for the job or we weren't able to increase our finances or maybe certain investments that we have really wasn't working out for us. Maybe certain things that we were trying to do to balance our books or balance the budget really wasn't helping us in the long term. It's like you've been dealing with kind of a tight spot here and no matter what, it, what you've tried to do or what it seems like you've tried to do, you didn't get that resolution that would have satisfied you financially. And I think this is getting ready to be a turnover in your finances, Leo. I think you're getting ready to move into a more comfortable state financially, but it doesn't happen overnight. It's just saying that the outcome that you get that feels like it's overnight really took years in the making. That's what the, oh shit. Oh shit. That's what this is on a larger scope. That's what this is on a larger scope. <clears throat> Excuse me, you know, I'm still, I'm feeling better, but I'm still getting over my cold. Um, there is a bigger picture to this than just your, I mean, don't get me wrong, we can look at the micro of your finances, which I do believe is going to be improving here. But that's not what this is truly about. This is about what you've had years in the making coming to a full accumulation that's going to on the outside world feel like an overnight success or feel like you know leo is living the life that you know leo wants but it wasn't an overnight an overnight thing this was the trials and errors the trials and tribulations this was the early mornings and the late nights these were all the times of 
worrying and feeling lost and feeling helpless and feeling hopeless and feeling uncertain. These are all the times when people told you to quit and told you you couldn't do it or told you to give up. These are for all the days where you told yourself, maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm foolish, maybe I'm stupid, maybe I don't need to be doing this. Where am I going? This is for all the times where we may have asked God, we may have asked spirit, where are you leading me? Where are you guiding me? Because the pathways that you're trying to show me seem like there's nothing but closed doors and I don't see an exit anywhere in sight. That's what this reminds me of. But it's like you never gave up on yourself. You kept persevering through each and every no, through each and every shut door, through each and every circumstance that did not allow you to see the light of day. You still kept saying to yourself, I'm going to push through. I will make it through and I will get the outcomes that I want, even if at times you didn't even believe it. Even if at times, Leo, you didn't even see it. Even if at times you ain't know. It's like there's that, there's that innate energy within you. <clears throat> Again, still trying to get over my coat. It's like there's that innate energy within you that even when you, it's just like, maybe I shouldn't. We just start to feel in a space of either self-loathing or self-defeat. Why even try? Maybe at times feeling like spirit gave up on us or maybe we are going in the wrong direction. Dealing with circumstances that are creating more blockages and hindrances for us versus opening up new passageways for us to exit. It's like almost wanting to succumb to one's circumstances because maybe in those hours or during those days, that's what we felt like all oh, we were gonna get out of a situation, so why even keep trying? But it's like there was still that innate fire within you that couldn't be put out. <clears throat> and that's a true testament to you. I damn, I feel like I'm all preachy. I hate, I hate when I start getting, I don't mean to be preachy, y'all know me. I'm sorry, I just sometimes get moved by a message. I don't mean to get preachy on y'all, this ain't church. But sincerely though, it's like it, it, you had to keep, it's like the more no's you got, the closer you got to that yes. And for some of you, it may have taken years of getting no to finally get to that one yes. For others of you, it may have taken months of hearing no before you got to that yes. But the fact that you kept going, you knew you were a step closer getting to that yes, even if at times you ain't even see it, even if at times you ain't believe it, even if at times you ain't even know if it was going to happen for you. And I think this is the beauty about going into November, right? Because we're moving through October. The beauty about it is, is that I'm looking at a yes. I'm looking at a peaceful resolution. I'm looking at a Leo that's getting ready to move. And again, I started off with this being about your finances, but it is a bigger picture than that. But for my Leos that resonated with the beginning of finances, this is like you finally securing that job. Are you finally securing that contract? Are you finally being able to secure that position that's going to pay you what you're worth? pay you what your value, pay you what you're truly owed. This is for, <coughs> I told you, I gotta excuse me for, <coughs> excuse me for a second, I'm sorry y'all. But this is also too though, for my Leos that didn't give up on the life that they wanted or the lifestyle that they wanted or the level of comfortability to feel valued or feeling like you're able to find meaning or purpose being able to live a very purposeful life being able to you live a very um i don't want to say useful that's the wrong word but a life that is of substance that really has true meaning on all different facets not just financial but this is having quality people around you having quality environments around you, being able to have people in your life who are assets, being able to have circumstances in your life that are very beneficial to you, being, having, being able to have relationship partners that see the value in you, being able to have those friendships that seek and understand the value in you. They seek you. These are people in situations that are seeking you because of your value, your knowledge, the things that you come with. They see your worth and these are people and circumstances that want you in their life. But also too, these are the things you want in yours. It's a mutual reciprocity. It's like you're moving into that new existence. Now I'm gonna be very candid with you. Like I said, to, to finally have that overnight if you will, success or achievement, it wasn't overnight. To the outside world, it may look like that, but this was maybe years in the making, months in the making. This was a long time coming. It just didn't happen like that. 
But because it doesn't happen like that does not mean, okay, we hit the end of October and all of, all of our security wishes and dreams are now coming true. That's unrealistic. We gotta be very honest with ourselves. But I like seeing peaceful resolution in a yes because this means the momentum of that is starting. The steps of, of seeing those doors open are starting. You're going to start seeing bit by bit by bit access to new environments, access to new people and the kind of people you want to be around, access to the kind of finances you want to make. You're going to start seeing doors open for the circumstances that you want to be in and be aligned with. It's not like it just, again, outside world, it may look like it happens like that, but as we move through the end of October, you're going to start to see the momentum, it's the compound effect. You're going to start to see that happen as we roll throughout the end of October, going into November, going into December, and you're going to see more and more of this life unfold for you. And of course, this ain't gonna be for everybody because not everybody's in that stage and phase of their life. That's why I had to segregate some people, I'm sorry. But I love this. All of, all of what you've been through, Leo, is not in vain. Even when you feel like only you have you, right? And when it only feels like you have your back, nobody else is with you, nobody else is walking that path with you. You ain't going through all that in vain. Believe that, trust that. I love, I love seeking what I'm looking at right here, Leo. I think this is going to be amazing for you. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I know at times it's gonna, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna feel like a struggle. I know sometimes we gonna wanna give up. I know some, the stress can just kill us, the anxiety, the uncertainty, the confusion, it can just wear us thin, but don't keep going. You have to keep going. You need you more than anybody at this time. And if you give up on yourself, who's going to be there for you? Only you can be there for you. So, Leo, I'm going to leave this here. I don't want this to be too long, and I don't want to keep coughing on the camera. I love you. You take care. You be well. And bye.